Hey guys, thank you for joining. If you've been looking for data sets to play around with Power BI, this tutorial, my friend, is definitely for you. Today I'm going to show you how to install SQL Server Express 2022, SQL Server Management Studio, and also I'm going to teach you how to add a database to that specific server. And at the end, I'm going to teach you how to connect a table with Power BI Desktop as well. So guys, this is it. Let's get started. So the first step here is to go over Google and look for SQL Server Express 2022. I'm going to share with you this link as well, okay? So once you're there, go over the fourth option right here, SQL Server 2022 Express. Remember, this is the free edition. Hit download and let's see what happens. Go over here and now here you have the application double click and we can start the process okay so it's gonna be right here yes so it's thinking now and remember we're gonna install here just the basic feature okay and then let's approve this let's read it read everything here and then accept so the location is fine hit install and then let's wait a few seconds. It depends on your internet connection as well, but it's now working. As you can see, SQL Server Express 2022 is already installed. Now let's go and install SQL Server Management Studio. So it's gonna be right here. Let's hit this option and just follow the steps. A new window pops up. And then right here, let's go over this one right here, SQL Server Management Studio 21. Let's go over here, open, and it's gonna be right here. Double click here again, and follow the steps again. Yes. Continue. So it's thinking again. So now we have another window here. And then you can also install other features, right? For this particular case, we have also AI assistance, business intelligence, hybrid and migration, code tools. It depends on you. Let's do this for now. AI assistance. And then let's go over individual components. So it's actually the same thing. AI assistance. For this particular case, this is going to be Copilot. You can also select your language. This is gonna be just English for us. The location, this is a default location, so we are good here. And then the next step is gonna be install right here. So it's gonna take a few seconds as well, or maybe a minute or so. So it keeps working fine. Perfect. We just installed SQL Server Management Studio 21. Okay, so let's close this for now. All right, folks, I just started my computer and now let's open SQL Server Management Studio. So it's right here. Let's select here the, this option and then optional and trust server certificate and let's see what happens. Fingers crossed, my friends. Boom. This is bananas, my friends. This is working. So now let's add here a couple of databases. Again, let's go over Google and type AdventureWorks Sample Databases. I'm going to share with you the link as well, okay? So once you're there, scroll down a little bit, and then you're going to see here OLTP, Databases, Data Warehouse, and also Lightweight. For this particular case, we're going to use Data Warehouse. Let's download this one right here, 2022. Hit this option, and then let's download another one just for the example, okay? How about 2019? So we have two different databases now, okay? So it's thinking. And let's go back over here. Still working. Back over here. 
let's go over downloads real quick so they are right here as you can see we have two databases here 2019 and 2022 and a good practice here is to copy these databases into a specific folder so let me show you how you can do this go over here users and then i'm going to paste the databases that just downloaded here Control v replace it file and destination because i already had it and then here you will need to provide administrator permission to copy this folder i would say yes continue continue boom so now you can see the three databases the the one that was already there and the new one that we just added so now let's go back to secret server management studio expand this and now you can expand databases right click restore database this is critical my friends and now let's hit device these three dots right here and then add a new window pops up here and then let's go over users and let's look for my name and here they are so we might be able to install multiple databases all at once let's give it a shot hold down control and then hit okay let's see what happens if not we can do it just one by one okay remember we are not lazy we're trying to be efficient here okay hit okay and then select everything here hit okay and hopefully this works hit okay okay uh, let's see let's see i don't think this worked but at least we give it a try right yeah it didn't work it only installed the 2019 so let's install now the other two okay right click again restore database and this is just practice for you as well device so 2019 was already installed back let's go back again to users here Nestor Jansen, and let's look for 2020 hit okay and then hit okay and then this should be good to go aha now we have 2020 perfect so let's install the other one and remember we're just practicing here same story here look for users Nestor Jansen, and then let's look for 2022 hit okay okay boom should be good to go now successfully and also the cool thing is that you can rename your databases so let's rename 2020 for now let's leave it as is awesome so now let's test it so let's see and look for 2022 expand this for now go over tables and as you can see we have multiple tables here this is awesome because you can go ahead and play around with these tables so let's go over the internet sales table this is a fact table right click let's test it select top a thousand rows check this out my friend check this out okay perfect so now you can see the data here see this is working perfectly fine our final step is going to be to create a connection between sql server and power bi desktop we're going to grab a couple of tables and then create a visual as well so my friends let's do this so this is power bi desktop i'm going to share with you this file as well but basically you go over here and there is an option here called sql server here we need to add the server database is optional so now let's open sql server management studio so it's opening it's gonna take a few seconds now we have here this new window and this is the server name so let's copy this Control c and you can also hit connect so you will have an idea about what exactly we have here and expand databases and again you can also expand this if you want go over tables and you have plenty of tables here dimension tables and also fact tables for the example fact internet cells right click and then select top a thousand rows it's loading and you will see here a preview so that's what we have 
it's working perfectly fine now let's go back to Power BI Desktop and then remember we just copy the server paste it here Control V and now let's hit OK fingers crossed my friends perfect so now you can see the three different databases that we added to SQL Server and then let's expand just for the example 2022 and here we can explore and go over the fact internet cells table right click or maybe just select it if you want you can also transform the data and this is a good practice you don't have to import everything to power bi desktop just focus on the columns that you're going to be using and uh, for this example let's grab through through here through ship date hold down shift and then right click remove other columns perfect you can also customize this if you want just short date date like this it's up to you so let's keep it as is for now fact internet cells close and apply so it's thinking perfect so this is the fact table the internet cells table let's add another table okay sql server again and you can do it all at once actually but let's do it just one by one for the example okay control v again this is the server name really important make sure that the server name is spelled exactly the way it is because if you don't do that you're gonna have issues syncing issues and let's go over the adventure works data warehouse 2022 and let's look for the date table date table and perhaps we also care about geography and product okay just for the example transform data so let's edit this for now So this is the calendar table let's do the same for geography let's focus on the columns that we care about for the example okay through i like spanish here as well and let's see maybe this one here as well postal right click remove all the columns and let's do the same for product let's go over here here perhaps english name yeah so right click uh, let's see let's do this again product key just for the example and then right click remove all the columns and i think we are good to go let's close and apply so it's thinking okay it's working my friends so now let's go over the model view and as you might have guessed, we need to create relationships here. The inner cells table is the fact table. It has to be in the middle. And let's see if it's working perfectly fine. So between the dimension table and the fact inner cells table, we have multiple relationships, but only one is active, which is date key, due date key. Okay. I don't think we care about this due date key. I care about order date key. So we, we can change this order date just for the example, okay? Order date key. This one right here. Oh, there is already a relationship. Okay, I guess I need to just figure it out. Okay, this one is okay. So I need to double click here and then make this relationship inactive for now and then this is the one that i care about so i want to make this active hit save and then we are good to go and now the dimension product table with the internet sales table product key this is a good relationship go back to report and let's create a report real quick so in that way we know what's going on with the numbers okay we can insert here a table if we want go over dimension table here within the date table so let's grab calendar year for example so we have their calendar year and then also we can grab here something 
from the fact in an Excel table. So how about cell, sales amount? Remember, this is an implicit measure. The point is, you can see here the results. So it's working. If you go over here and change the, the chart, now you can see what's going on here. So, and then you can start telling stories, right? So that is the point. And then you can also improve this if you want. This is just something extra, a bonus, remove the title here. And then for a Y axis, you can also remove the title and then rename it if you want. Double click here, sales amount. And then center this if you want, but you get the point. You can also add labels here. And now we can see the performance better. In summary, what did we do here? We installed SQL Server Express 2022, SQL Server Management Studio as well. We added three different databases to SQL Server. Finally, we create a connection between SQL Server and Power BI Desktop. And as you can see, we added a few different tables and created a visual as well. There you have it, my friends. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, check these tutorials out as well. Really good content. And keep going, my friends. Thank you guys for your time and see you in my next tutorial.